Absolutely. Um, that's a lot of time. This is an amazing place to, to make a comeback in, right? Um, so uh, I think that that, that unit has a, lot, has a lot of confidence right now. And, uh, you know, we just kept on telling each other, just just chip away. Don't, don't worry about getting all back in one shot. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's, there's still a lot of time. What's that like? To be, in, to be in a moment like that where you're making five threes in the fourth and you're not going in. A lot better than missing seven of them in the first or whatever it was. Um, you know, I think uh, I love playing on this team. I feel like it's a it's a really good fit for me. And playing off these guys, there's a lot of weapons. Um, you know, and uh, I've, just, I've just been trying to play loose and free and, and uh, knock, knock down shots and play the right way. Did anything particularly turn around your evening after missing those first five or six shots? Well, I just needed one to go down first, and then uh, I think I missed the next two after that, maybe. But I think, you know, I, I actually felt really good. A couple shots didn't feel that, that great, but I actually felt really good tonight. And, and uh, you know, the shots kept on coming my way, and, and I played this, played this game for a long time, and I've had many, many bad shooting nights, and teammates just tell you to keep on shooting and keep being aggressive. And, um, you know, so just kept, just kept, kept at it. What did you see from LeBron in the fourth quarter, not just the points, but creating the assists? I actually thought his defense is what turned the crumb. Obviously, he's always going to get into the paint at the end of the game and make plays, but I thought, um, you know, he had a tough match up there at the end. Um, but just that's where he's really special. He's able to do everything on the court, not just get into the paint and make plays, not just make you know, step back dagger threes, but he's able to do everything. And uh, he, he showed that tonight in the fourth quarter. Do you like an important victory, you know, coming on the heels? You know, two in a row. You haven't won two in a row since the Oh. You know, I think it's just more, more than wins and losses. I mean, we need to get some wins, but we just need to, like, play good basketball and have fun, right? Like play with energy and, and play with purpose and and, uh, and play for each other, right? And I think that's really been missing from our group in the last few games. And so um, I think it was a hope, hopefully we can build off this. How do you guys you guys pay attention to when you uh, see the, when LeBron here. kind of engages in the back and forth that he did with the check out. before the game? Hey, man, the press, like that. There's a storyline on this team every day. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. <laughs> I've only been here not even one full season, but I'm like, I'm pretty numb to it by now. You know, There's always something it seems like. And so I don't, I don't think anybody really made much of it, to be honest. Sense any extra emotions out there? Mm -mm. I mean, about the comments before the game? Yeah. No. Not on our side. All right, thanks, Kyle. Go ahead. What's that? How'd you like the subway ride? Went in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> go for a ride in the subway. I loved it. You know, it was like you go for a long bus ride and hit every stoplight, or you jump on that subway and get on back to the hotel. So, um, you know, I've always, I've always loved taking the train, taking the subway. I'm glad someone was leading me where to go because I had no idea where I was, um, but love taking the subway.